guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this eye look. It was inspired by both Janiners on Instagram and Marian Chameleon. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. To start off this look, I'm taking Roxy Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D and placing this on my eyelid as an eyeshadow base and then just blending it out with a dual fiber brush. This is nothing new. I think you guys have seen it at least three times on my channel before. <laughs> so then, yeah, just adding more and then going in and blending that out. You want a really seamless blend because if this isn't blended out, then your eyeshadow will not be blended out. You know what I mean? All right, so I did switch to a different brush to help blend that out and it did have a little bit of gray on it, so that's where that color came in. Alright, so now I'm going into the NYX Ultimate Bright Shadow Palette and taking that sort of magenta -y color with a little blending brush, probably a MAC 217, and placing that in my crease. Then I'm just taking a bigger brush and blending out the edge. And then I'm going to pick up that deep purple shade and pack this onto my lid. And then of course I gotta do some blending. And then going to pack some more on. I know this is kind of patchy, my bad. <laughs> All right, so then I just decided to do the other wing first graphic liner. And now I'm going to do this side. I'm using Super Beauty Scrunchy UV Hydra Liner. And I believe I'm using a very small e.l.f. brush. Just goes to show that you don't have to spend a ton of money on brushes. e.l.f. makes pretty good ones. Um, but yeah, I'm just like winging this out, but I'm only going to be going halfway. And with this color, since you're putting it over top of like a dark eyeshadow, you really have to build it up. So I'm going to be taking the Super Beauty Rose Gold Chrome Hydro Liner and I'm placing that on the inner half of the wing. And I'm using a very thin paintbrush for this. So then once you get to the center where you have to blend them, I kind of just went back and forth between each color and I just kind of blend some. So now we're going to go for the floating wing. So I am using the rose gold because you want it to be like opposite. And I am just creating a line in my crease. Alright, so once I have the that part of the line to my thickness and you know I'm going to switch to the other color and just connecting that and start building that up and then I brought it down into the inner corner so that they kind of connect there this was actually hard with my eye shape I don't know why I decided to use such a big brush in that area but then I'm switching back to the gold uh, liner and making that transition blend. And then I'm taking Kat Von D's Roxy Everlasting Lip Liner and placing this in my waterline and lower lash line. Of course, always be careful when using lip products around your eyes. You know, if you're sensitive to it, then don't do it. So I'm just blending that out. And 
And then I'm taking this corally color and placing this on the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighter Palette and taking the shade Dream and placing that over top. So then I just popped on some House of Lashes Iconic Lights and this is the finished eye look. Alright, I look super goth today with this like dark hair and dark lip, but I love it. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.